what I eat in two days, so two full days of eating as an intuitive eater, a French nutritionist, and a vegetarian. So I'm going to be showing you two full days of eating, so with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and maybe snacks. And by showing you two days, you'll get maybe a better idea, a better, a more general idea about the things that I eat and how I balance things out over a few days. So we're going to start with breakfast. So I'm just making oatmeal for breakfast. So putting in the oats. I'm trying to show you the quantity. Then I put some vanilla soy milk. Put it in the microwave when I'm lazy. When I'm not lazy, I do it in a pot, but I was lazy. Then I put some cinnamon and I also put like some vanilla extract. This is like orange flower, I don't know what that is in English. Then put some granola. Some almond powder. Some dried cranberries. And half a banana. And then I put a ton of cashew butter. Yes, this is way too much, but this is like the best part. And that's what it looks like. And I have that with a glass of water. So I just finished with breakfast. I feel really good about breakfast. I ate just the perfect amount. It was very delicious and that's all I have to say really. So see you for lunch. It is now lunchtime and this is going to be a little bit boring but very realistic because I'm going to be having a few different leftovers. I love having leftovers because it means that I can spend less time cooking and more time eating while watching Netflix. I think there's two different or two or three different things that I'm going to be having. I'm going to show you. First, I spend hours choosing what video to watch while I make the my lunch. So these were just leftovers. I'm going to show you what they were in a minute. So that is a mix of spinach, sweet potatoes, and lentils, and that is some risotto with butternut squash in it. And then I had the other half of the banana that I had for breakfast. And I had some frozen blueberries that I popped in the microwave and just ate like that. So that's it for lunch. I have blue lips now because of the blueberries. Um, again, I ate perfectly until I was full, not too full, just great on the hunger scale. And so I will see you again for dinner. So now I'm boiling water and putting this vegetable thing in it to make it tastier. And then I'm just gonna add like a ton of stuff to it. So like soy sauce and this thing to make it a little spicy and like tons of spices and this is just the water that I'm going to be putting the like soy protein like soy protein isolates in so this is just to make them taste better so yeah I'm putting in the little soy stuff in there and then I'm just gonna let that sit for like half an hour and while I wait for that I'm going to be making some whole wheat pasta whole wheat spaghetti and I'm also making a salad so putting some salad some blueberries some hazelnuts 
some flax seeds and some pumpkin seeds and that is what it looks like and I also put olive oil and apple cider vinegar in it so now I drain the water from the soy protein and I'm putting in some tomatoes from a can like two cans and mixing that together and I think I also add like another ton of spices so this is what the portion of salad that I had And this is the final plate with the sauce and some cheddar cheese in it. And yes, that was a huge portion. And I had a little French pastry called a cannelli for dessert. So as you probably noticed, my dinner plate was very full, I had a lot, and I think I already mentioned this in another video, but when I have pasta, I just am hungrier all of a sudden, I just want more, and since I really listen to my hunger, and not just my physical hunger, also my kind of like emotional hunger, pasta, I just... I could eat endlessly. My dad came home from a work trip in Bordeaux, which is a city in France where they had this little specialty, which was the little um, dessert thing that I had. Normally, I would have eaten probably like a piece of fruit, but you know, since it was the, the occasion to have that, then that's what I had. I feel pretty full, obviously, but you know, not stuffed or anything. I still feel really good. And I think throughout this whole day, I finished like every one of my plates, which is what happens mostly like it's not that often that i um leave stuff out because i'm really good now at giving myself the right portion sizes for my hunger levels so that's the end of my day of eating i'll see you tomorrow for the rest probably gonna be some leftovers so see you tomorrow good morning it is my second day of eating and i'm going to show you what i have for breakfast usually i have a pretty similar breakfast but today i don't feel really that hungry because i had quite a big meal yesterday so i'm going to have a little bit of a lighter breakfast let me show that to you right now so i'm just putting some frozen blueberries in the microwave and toasting some bread with cashew nut butter then adding the raspberries onto the, the toast and adding as much as I can fit on there and that's what it looks like and I also had another cannelli. That's the final breakfast with a glass of water and some vanilla soy milk. That's the end of breakfast. See you in a few hours for lunch. I'm back for lunch. I'm going to be having some leftovers again. This is a spaghetti and rice leftover and I'm making a little salad with some ground up mixed seeds and some olive oil and some apple cider vinegar. <clears throat> down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Why the cottage room blows? Yeah, I wanna. And for dessert, I had a Clementine. Yeah, you know I keep on running from the truth. So I'm done with lunch. And I'm taking this opportunity to tell you that even though I try to make my meals really balanced most of the time, sometimes they're not that balanced. Like today, I had like tons of carbs. And that's just because I had leftovers that I wanted to finish. And so I had that instead of making something a little bit more balanced. Usually I wouldn't have both pasta and rice, but today it was what I had as leftovers. So just to tell you that I don't really think about it too much. I don't obsess over it at all. Like if I can make my meal really balanced then I, I do it but if I don't want to or don't have the time or something else comes up then I don't do it and it's absolutely fine it was still pretty healthy I still got 
um, pretty good nutrient from it and I feel good. I don't feel too full. So just putting it out there that you don't always have to have the perfect plates like I teach you to do in my how to create a healthy plate video right here. And I had a caramel macchiato at Starbucks. So for dinner, I am just peeling some carrots. I'm gonna make a carrot, ginger, and um, coconut milk soup. So just cutting up the ingredients. This is the ginger. Boiling them. Then putting them in the blender, adding two, I added two things of coconut milk. And blend everything together. Added some turmeric, also some pepper, and that is the final soup. I also put some like pumpkin seeds on it. To go with that, I made a chickpea and beetroot salad, cutting up the beetroots. Filling them on the table, putting some seasoning in there, and that's like, uh, wait, what herb is that? Uh, don't remember and just eating the soup oh yeah it was cilantro I remembered another little can meat for dessert so that's the end of my two days of eating hopefully this gave you a little more insight on what I eat and how I balance out my meals and you know on a few on a couple of days obviously this varies a lot but it still gives you a pretty good general idea of what I eat and the types of meals that I eat and the amount of food that I eat even if that changes a lot day to day that's also what I wanted to show you I really never count calories um, I really have a really vague general idea of my needs because I more I prefer to listen to what my body is telling me and on certain days um, eat, I feel hungry so I eat more and on other days I don't feel as hungry so I eat less it sounds pretty obvious but it's actually pretty hard to do with all of the outside rules and regulations that we that we have around us so but that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like it and subscribe don't hesitate to ask me what you would like to see more of on this channel and see you on my next video bye